Hi everyone, so today I am doing a book review of You Are the Universe by Deepak Chopra and Menas Kafatos. Um, as you can see, it's very well loved. I've had it with me for a long time and I've read it now twice. Um, and I decided to do a book review of it because it's a really good book and I feel like all people should read it. Um, so basically this book is about what we perceive is reality and reality exists because we perceive it. So basically, in order for one thing to exist, there has to be another thing to exist to perceive that that thing exists. Um, and this is something like down to like the quantum level up to like, on the universe, like, space level, meaning planets relating to each other, and stars, and things like that. Um, I don't know, it's like a very interesting topic, and I feel like it was cool to see kind of like that pattern exist and come up in so much so many different um dimensions um i think like a fire a fire part um that i feel like reflects like the main plot of this book is what what being real feels like you are not in the universe the universe is in you in here and out there are mere reflections of each other consciousness is continuous and present in everything it is the one reality all the separate activities in the universe are actually one activity Reality isn't just fine-tuned, it's perfectly tuned. Your purpose is to align yourself with the creativity of the cosmos. The next thing you feel like doing is the best thing you can do. Existence feels free, open, and without obstacles. Mind and ego still exist, but they get a lot more time off. Knowing who you really are, you set off to explore unknown possibilities. So it was such a complex book because it would go to physics, it would go to the study of the cosmos, and it would go to the brain, and basically connected all of those things and allowed that each thing to be a reflection of each other and I just thought that was really nice um and like I think another takeaway that I found from this was that there's so much we don't know um we can know things like depending on how we ask and so a lot of things in the universe are with our mind or unknown things like we just haven't asked the right question yet to uncover that answer and i don't know i think it would be really really cool to somehow find those answers like to be one of those people that find those answers i think that would be very cool um, I, the key concept that I 
saw within this book was that everything is connected that we are small and we are also big and we decide how to perceive things that it's up to us we are making a perception it's up to us to absorb what we are perceiving and alchemize that and continue and whatever way we do it is the way that it's done kind of um just to give like a background of who this person is that's writing it Deepak Chopra he's like my favorite author honestly there's another book that I love called um the book of secrets it's a really nice book um all of his books really stem on the universe and the self and kind of like how those relate but I really like how he writes because there's a lot of humor in it and it's also very like conversation writing so when you're reading it it's easy to absorb it's not like it's like crazy like academic focus like it's very um absorbable but yeah his name is Deepak Chopra um he's an internal medicine doctor he's also the founder of the Chopra Foundation which I think is like a very amazing center where basically like he uses like Ayurveda and like also modern western medicine um, or just modern medicine, like, he uses those things to help people, people with cancer, uneasiness within the body, or the mind, or the spirit, and I think it would be really amazing to, like, work, work there, I think that'd be really cool, um, He's a world-renowned pioneer in integrative and alternative medicine and personal transformation. Like, all of his books talk about those things. And, like, he's definitely, like, the leader in, like, I feel like spreading this knowledge. Um, I think, like, for pros and cons for this book, like, I feel like the con is, like, some parts you kind of like even though I was just saying that it's like very conversationalist and easy to absorb like there are still times where it's like very kind of complex and so sometimes you can like glaze over like what you're reading and not totally absorb it but I don't think like you need to get too caught up in that like I think it's okay when your mind goes and like maybe you'll read the book again and read that part that you missed or maybe you can go back and read it if you want but like I don't think that's like a big deal um and then I just love the way it expands like your way of thinking because first you learn so many things so that's expanded in your knowledge but then I don't know like it allows you to just think about things in a different way because you just are kind of centered in like the awareness that there are things so much bigger and then there are things so much smaller but they are almost so big because they are so impactful like they literally make up everything and then like that you're just connected to all of it that it's all connected to each other I think that's like a very like grounding and like humbling Thing to like learn about um I'm just gonna like go through the book real quick and like read like parts that I really like um um okay like this part's interesting it kind of talks about like photons and like how they surpass like our con conception of like time moving and like basically like photons can like teleport um 
I thought that was really cool. Um, something that he was like trying to prove in this book is that the mind isn't just one factor in the cosmos, but the factor that underlies how everything in creation behaves. Because like his theory is like everything is reacting because you're perceiving it in that way to react. And yeah, I thought that was interesting. Here's another part that's cool. Qualia are everywhere. Nothing can happen without them. Which means that if you participate in reality using a human brain, your world consists of qualia. If there is a reality that exists outside of what we perceive, it is inconceivable, literally. Once you subtract everything you can sense, imagine, feel, or think about, there's nothing left. Here's the kicker. Because qualia are subjective, they directly attack the objectivity of modern science. Moreover, because, every, it, because experience is meaningful, qualia attack the model of random, meaningless nature. So... That was like another point he was making throughout was like kind of like the intentionality of the universe and like that there's probably more than just like meaningless movement going on that like it's probably m more intentional than that. Um... Qualia are the true building blocks of reality. You can lead your whole life without taking a scientific measurement, but a scientist cannot do anything without sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell. If you love the smell of boiled cabbage while someone else hates it, this doesn't prove that subjectivity is unreliable. It proves that we have infinite creative freedom in the playground of qualia. Um... But yeah, I do feel like everyone should read this. Like, I feel like you should read it if you're like interested in science, like physics or um, quantum physics or whatever, um, or like cosmology. But I also feel like if you're interested in like learning more about consciousness, um, this is a great book, but yeah, I think everyone should read it, um, but yeah, so I'm really happy to be doing this book review. I feel like I'm going to do this again for, like, books that I really like. Um, I love reading, and I feel like I read good books, so I feel like it'd be fire to, like, share that with everybody. Um, but yeah, I want to know, like, have you guys read this book and, like, how do you feel about, like, the concepts, um, in this book? And then let me know if there are any fire books, um, that you want me to review because I'll do it if it's a good book. Um, but yeah. Thanks for listening, and I hope that you're having a wonderful day in this lifetime, in this universe. Um, yeah.